Okay, so what good is having an online course if you can't sell it? So in the next couple of videos, we're going to talk about how to accept payments, how to create an offer for your course, and other good stuff so that you can start getting some money. So first things first, we need to start integrating some sort of a payment method. Now, Kajabi accepts and it integrates very well with Stripe and PayPal. So let's start by doing that. We're going to go into our dashboard and we're going to go to settings. In the settings, we're going to go under here where it says payment integrations. All right, now, as of the time of me recording this video, PayPal was acting very wonky. So I will come up with a separate video about connecting your PayPal account. Believe it or not, it's not as easy as you would think. Typically, I always have trouble with, or, or, typically when I'm using other platforms, I have uh, Stripe is a little bit more in depth when you're connecting it and PayPal is a little bit easier. Seems to be reversed in the Kajabi platform. So I connected my Stripe, which was very easy to do. All you have to do is yours, yours will say connect and it'll look like something like this, even though I'm in the PayPal. It's going to ask for your email address. This is not my email um, and things like that. And it's going to prompt you with a button. So once you go through all of that with your PayPal, it is very easy. It'll just, you'll just have to create an account. You just have to then edit how you can get paid, which means they're going to need your, your routing number and your bank account number, as well as the, you know, social security number and things like that. Obviously, um, you know, make sure that you're in a secure place and a secure website. It should, of course, be secure. Uh, but once you do that, it doesn't take but a couple of minutes to do, and then you will be connected to Stripe. And then you can start taking payments. But again, PayPal is not being our friend today. So we're going to wait on that. So let's jump ahead and start creating an offer. Now, what is an offer? Well, an offer is something that you attach to your course, okay? And that's how PayPal knows or Kajabi knows how much to charge your customer. So let's begin by creating an offer. So we're gonna go be in our dashboard. We're gonna to go to products. And under products, you're gonna select offer. And you'll get to this page. Now, if you don't have an offer, you're gonna have this, it'll come up looking like this. You can say create an offer. And here's just some examples of free offer, a one-time payment, or a subscription plan. If you have offers already listed here and you want to add some more, you just need to click this button up here that says add new offer. All right, so let's go ahead and create our first offer. We're going to name it and I'm just going to call it, since I have one product and it's called my awesome course, I'm just going to call it awesome course offer just so that I know who it's related to or what it's related to, okay? If, again, if I had more than one product, I would be, it would be in this drop down, and I would merely attach this offer to one of the products, okay? So you, let me get that straight for you. You have products and you have offers. You need to connect your product to an offer in order to sell it, all right? And that's very common in a lot of platforms. Now, how much do you want to sell it for? Let's just say for now, we're going to say $49. And you're going to hit save. So here you are in your offer, offer dashboard and you have your title. If you need to have an internal title, it's just going to be for you. That's fine. Here's a description of the offer. You can say whatever you want to say down here so you know what the offer is related to. And here you have it as published. Here we have the price. Here's my included product, which we already assigned in the previous step. If I wanted to add a product, you certainly could do here. You could add an upsell, which is when they're checking out or after they check out, they want to have maybe another product you want to sell them. Maybe it's a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. This is awesome. Do you want them to get a reminder? And by them, I mean your customer. If they abandon the cart, what does that mean? Well, that means they put your course into the checkout, but they never actually checked out. So if you wanted to do that and send a cart abandonment email, you could do it one hour after they've done it, six hours, 10 hours, 24 hours. Uh, I think one hour is a little aggressive, um, but then again, you know, they might still be in the mood. Uh, it depends. It depends on how you think your target market will, would react. And you just can certainly test this. So that would be something very interesting to do for sure. Okay, automations we're going to get to in a completely different lesson. 
automations will add, will go into sort of an email campaign. Um, it's sort of a, they call it a when then moment. Um, most of you might know it as an if then. For instance, if they purchase, then they get into this automation, this email sequence. Okay. So again, we'll have a whole lesson on automations. Okay. Back up here, you can select a course, uh, an offer image. I'm just going to quickly select something that's recent. I'll just use my logo. Save it. Yeah, this is not obviously in the dimensions that, well, you know, we'll see. All right, so now product access. This is super important, especially if you're going to do a free trial. So typically, if you're not doing a free trial, you're going to say begin access at a specific date. You might say, okay, do it today immediately, and you would put in the day's, today's date. Okay. Uh, if you, for some reason, how we're doing this and maybe you were, uh, hosting a, a weekend seminar and you didn't want it available to after everybody had taken the course or the in-person thing, you can certainly add a something further in the future. And then the entire offering will be available. Now, if you wanted to do something like a 14 day trial, you would click on this. Let me just get, de-click that. So this says restrict access to a specific amount of time. That means you might have access to this for 14 days. After 14 days, you're going to start getting charged, okay? So we'll get into that a little bit more, but that's how that would, would begin. So you, as you can see, it says members will have access until the number of days after the effective start date. So I guess we do need that. Okay, so it'll start that. So... I'm not even going to worry about that. That should typically would say like today's date or the current date. So we'll just do that. I'll, I'll throw up another video talking more about how to do specifically how to do um, free trial periods. Okay. Now, after the purchase, definitely send the member confirmation email. And we're going to get to doing that, but you're going to just use the default email. If you want to do a custom email, uh, it's not for the faint of heart. I am a coder. I know what this stuff does. Um, and I could do it, but I wouldn't want anybody to assume that this is something really quick and dirty and that your customers are going to get it and it's going to work out as, as you intended. So just keep it to a default. Now, if you, have an, if you want to send something else, if you have somebody to give an affiliate commission to, if you have a team, maybe you're working with a VA and uh, you want to let them know yeah, you need to add their email here. If you had a third-party email provider, okay, like here, let's go to the integrations page, you know, like Aweber, MailChimp, ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign, any of these third-party things, you could actually have that integrate with that once they um, have purchased your course. And of course, you can have a redirect, send the member to a thank you page, and you could write it all out here and have a link to that, okay? And there's a couple of options here, landing page, thank you page. So that is how you create your offer. I'm just going to hit save. Okay, so now that we've added this offer, let's just quickly take a preview and see what it looks like. So we're going to hit this preview button up underneath the title of our offer. And it brings us here. Now, obviously, I knew that this was not going to look great, but you can have the offer here. Keep it consistent. Don't do what I did. Keep it consistent with the same image that everybody knows or your student knows that it's going to be your offer uh, image is the same as your course image and things like that. Keep it consistent. Um, I will go and do all of this myself on the back end. All right, so here's my $49. Here's where I can add my email address and my credit card information and complete my purchase. How awesome is this? Now we're gonna get into this a little bit more when we start talking about how to customize the store and all that. But, you know, here we go. We're Like I said, we're ready to go and you are one step closer to getting your course off the ground. Congratulations.